Creating elements with this uh, syntax can be quite cumbersome, especially once you get to the point where you're nesting elements. So most React apps use a JavaScript syntax extension called JSX. It looks a lot like HTML, but do not be confused. It is not HTML. Let's redefine our what with JSX. We'll do an opening tag like we would with any HTML element. And in here, type hello React. Don't need to add any additional strings or anything. Very simple. Now this syntax and this are identical. They are doing exactly the same thing, but this allows us to have a nicer authoring experience, one that feels a little bit more familiar if we've had years of writing HTML. It's also a little bit more terse. Now React comes with a few gotchas and these become a little bit worse when you're working with JSX. So for example, you might be used to saying class header. In React, that becomes the property name class name. This is the same for event handlers. So instead of having an on click that is all lowercase and looks like this, uh, your on click is going to be camel case. This is the React version of that same thing. This applies for all of the events. Now, apart from being useful and a little bit weird, this is the syntax that I see in all of the React applications I have ever seen or built. So like it or not, it's just something you get used to.